Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. This piece of content is actually going to end up becoming part of a larger piece of content um, around my favourite style of wallet. And my favourite style of wallet is the, the minimal card holder wallet, whether they're side loading, whether they're top loading whether they're made from leather, you know, there's lots of different types and that's something that I am hopefully going to bring you in the future. Now, I've been looking around at different wallets and when you're looking on Etsy, when you're looking on different, you know, wallet kind of communities on Instagram and Facebook, there's certain wallets that you come across that you tend to see a little bit more so than others. And this is one that I'd seen around and it's one that caught my eye straight away. The way that it does things, the way that it's crafted, the way that it's created. So I reached out to Softy Leather Goods and asked about their Talon wallet. And they were happy enough to send one to me so that I can make some content. Now, full disclosure up front, this was sent to me um, to review, to test. Um, the opinions that are given in this, hopefully as you'll see, from all of my content is 100% my opinion. I've not been paid to favorably review this. Um, and I will give you my frank and honest opinion. Spoiler, you know, it's a very, very, very high quality and beautifully crafted wallet. So as I usually do, what I will do is we'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look at this. While I'm doing that, if any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to like and subscribe. That would be amazing, but let's take a closer look at the Talon wallet. Wow, I think I nearly just had a heart attack then. As I was turning the camera around, I knocked it and it just did a full on face plant into the wall. Um, but it's working. I, I definitely have to say, if you're after a hard wearing camera, you should <laughs> definitely pick up uh, a Canon 250D. So getting back to this beautiful wallet, as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, some materials, um, and then some of the features of the wallet. I have my trusty ruler here. I shall give it you in new money and old money. So in new money, it comes in at roughly, well, do you know what? It's just under 100 millimeters. It's probably about 97, 98 millimeters. Um, and in width that comes in at 65 millimeters and it's depth now I say depth at the moment It's got four cards in there So you could probably take three or four millimeters off that but at the moment it's standing roughly proud um, at um, 10 millimeters now in old money. It's fairly kind of standard for this so it comes in just short of four inches so it's three and seven eighths of an inch um, its width comes in at roughly two and a half inches and it stands proud at three eighths of an inch tall now as I say so at the moment actually let's just take these out you know I probably should have done this right in the first place shame on you Morlander for not doing it right let's take these out so with nothing in there inch wise it is a quarter of an inch which in new money is about seven millimeters so let's just put these let's put all these to one side a um, couple of things to mention as far as the construction is concerned I mean, first of all it's, it's beautiful it really is beautiful all of the stitching all of the detail that is on here it's not just a few pieces of leather that's just thrown together um, and I think that comes in just straight away as soon as soon as you pick it up so leather leather wise this is made from vegetable tanned full grain leather from Wicket and Craig um, and I, th there's there's a little detail on here which which I, I think is really 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 nice so um, the, the, the wallet itself I'm, I'm jumping ahead on quite a few bits here um, but hopefully you can see here on the front it says Wicket and Craig superior leather since 1887 on the back as far as branding is concerned there's no softy branding here apart from this small logo here now there are some that do have the softy branding and it, it just it just fits across there but 
to pay homage to the leather, the fact that this is made from this really, really, really nice leather from Wicket and Craig, just to have their logo on the front. Could you imagine if you bought, say, a, I don't know, a 511 wallet, and instead of putting any 511 logos on there, apart from a little tiny one, they just had a large or a, or a larger Cordura logo on the front because they're paying homage to where this actually comes from. This is a completely natural material and yeah, I, this is the sort of stuff that gets me excited. This is the sort of stuff that, you know, I, I love about these style wallets. And in particular, I think it is um, really nice that they put the, um, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> it even says it there, the Wicket and Craig logo on the front. Sorry about that. Um, it's been a busy day at work today. So I've already shown you this, but the, 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 the wallet itself is completely symmetrical. So as I turn it over there, you'll see that there is an opening here. And as I turn it over, you'll see that that opening is there as well. This is a three pocket um, card holder. So we have one here on the front, which for me, because this is two tones, so there's actually two, let's go back a step. Again, you know, I'm just excited to show this thing off. So as far as the construction is concerned, this is made from two pieces of leather. If I show you this from the top here, hopefully you can see. So there is a piece of leather that starts here, curls round and then goes round to the outside. And then on the opposite side, there is a piece of leather that starts there, curls round and then goes round to the outside. It's stitched together across the top here to keep these two pieces of leather together. So, you know, it, it simply just doesn't fall apart, which is where you get this front pocket from. And I suppose it's a broken, it's asymmetrical, although it is kind of symmetrical as, as when you when you flip it over, you can see that you also have that top stitch as well. Holding the whole thing together, there is another bottom stitch here, which as far as simplicity is concerned, you know, this is just two pieces of leather and nothing else apart from the stitching that's on here, the stitching that is used, and this is all hand sewn as well, by the way. Um, this is a Vinimo MTB thread, uh, MBT thread, sorry, that's used to, to hold this together. Now it is very, very nice stitching. You can see exactly where it's stitching, but it, as I mentioned, it's the smaller details on here as well. So you can see you have the stitch line that runs across the top and the bottom, and I probably need to work on my knowledge of how leather working works as well. But then you also have this really fine crease that goes around the top. So you can see the leather there, or at least you can see the stitching. And then you have that additional f fine gully or crease, whatever it's called, that goes in the top and it's across the top there and the round on each of these sides. When you catch the light on it, you can actually see that it, it, you, you can see that additional detail. And again, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna say this a lot, but the additional detail and thought and attention that's been put into this, um, certainly gives the talon its its characteristics, and I think that's one thing that you always have to say about leather wallets is, is the characteristics that, that, that you that you have from them. Um, now I want to mention you, you have the you have the Wicket uh, Wicket and Craig logo there on the back. There is a small logo here. Now I did have this. I did the Manchester 10K a few uh, a month or two back, and I had this in my wallet at the time. So you might see some slight pitting here. Um, that's not how this arrived. That was just when it was in my running pouch. There must have been something in there. But again, the beauty of a leather wallet is after some time, you will start to get this patina and every single leather wallet develops its own patina. On here, you can actually see um, it's starting where my card fit slips in here. Some of the embossing from the card starting to come through, which again just adds to adds to that character. Now, getting back to the actual features, um, this can store up to ten cards. Um, the way that I do it, because um, where we have the 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 Wicket and Craig logo here on the front, this is where I keep my um, debit card that I use the most. 
on the flip side, this is where I keep my ID um, or my, you know, my, my driving license. Then on the inside, because of lockdown, um, I've been able to slim down the amount of cards that I use on a daily basis. So I only carry six, one in the front, one in the back, and then I put four cards on the inside here, and it just fits in nice and perfect you can get into these just kind of give it a little bit of a pinch it opens up slightly and then you can get your cards out um, what I did forget to take out when I did it is um, I also have some cash in there as well now I mentioned if I just hold this open slightly you can see in there when I get it in the light so when I pinch this there is a main section and this is where I put um, all of my cards into but the way it's been designed is you also have these two partitions so maybe if you wanted to put a card that is definitely not used or maybe is used a little bit more you can put it down one side the rest of your cards can sit in the middle and then if you wanted to you could have some cash that sits on the outside so you've got a little bit of um, separation or you can compartmentalize this larger pocket which is one of the reasons that I, I got in touch with Softy Leather over this because a lot of the other wallets that I've looked at and you know I've, I've reviewed in the past tend to be the classic three pocket card holder style where you might have one on the front one on the back and then this larger pocket that you can put things into whereas with this one you still get the form and function of being able to have these two for your quick access um, bits. But then on the inside, there's additional storage um, that you can then decide how you actually want to have these laid out. Um, I think it's very, very, very well done. If I was to change anything, and I certainly don't think this is this is a negative because I actually think it's it's a it's a very strong positive for this. But what I could see is, if I take these out, I definitely think that there's an area for possibly two versions of this wallet. And I think this would be a really good idea. So you have this version of the wallet, which has that, it's almost a double fold, so it's a, it's a triple fold, because you've got one, two, you've got one, two, three pieces of leather, and one, two, three pieces of leather. It's not three pieces, it's just, it's still the same leather, it's just been folded three times. What I think Softy could do is take out these two divisions here as well. So instead, you've got this leather piece that holds these two pieces here and, and where this is stitched, but then just have it so that it would be maybe the, the Talon Ultra Minimalist wallet because these two pieces of leather here, if I hold those, hopefully you can still see this in the light, but these four cards is roughly the width of these two internal dividers. So you could slim this down even further. Now, as I say, this definitely isn't any sort of criticism because I do think for somebody that wants to have that additional internal um, compartmentalize, compartmentalize it. I'm going to struggle with that word today. That is a massive advantage with this wallet over some other wallets that don't have that. If they were to go down the route of having the ultra version, I think that would be a great selling point to have two versions of, of the same amazing Talon wallet. Now, I tend to do with with uh, quite a few of these wallet reviews uh, that, that when we look at, I like to compare them to, to other similar wallets. So I've got a couple here just, just to show. So this is the Fox wallet, which is another leather wallet, but it's actually slightly different in the fact that it, it curls around um, an elastic holder. Um, the Talon is slightly larger, however, the only reason why this is larger is because with this one there are no sewn seams here on the outside. So when I stack them on top of each other, hopefully you can see that the additional length on this is just purely down to the, the sections in which um, it has been sewn. So if you're looking at minimalist style wallets, it still fits completely square in with that small footprint of a minimalist wallet. 
next to it which is probably the closest as far as the, uh, dimensions where it's stitched here we have the uh, the 1095 supply um, Fox low wallet which is a, another great one similarly so this is another three pocket wallet so you have one on the front one on the back and then this large section here and this is that this is the difference in the fact you know I mentioned so this has just got that single pocket that you just put all of your stuff into whereas on this one you can you know you can separate out the things um, however you want it but also if they did do a ultra minimalist talon then you would be able to shave off a little bit of the thickness um, especially when you when you when you look at the uh, the foxlow here now if I put them on top of each other you can see height wise they're roughly the same because you've got the extra uh, you, you've got the stitching here the difference with this one is with it not having any stitching down the left or the right hand side um, the fox low is just slightly wider but I mean we're talking four or five millimeters in total it really isn't that much at all and then last but not least um, again another card holder so this is the Attenuo wallet version 2 not leather 100% not leather this is made from aluminium but this is again is just to show um, a bit of a size comparison in that Size wise, they are pretty much identical other than the talon which we, we saw with, with, the fo uh, with the Fox wallet because it has a stitching here at the top. It just gives it an extra few millimeters um, on the Attenuo wallet, but certainly nothing that I consider it outside the ballpark of a minimalist wallet. Um, it certainly is a beautifully handcrafted wallet that I've really 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 enjoyed testing out over the last month. There is absolutely something about just handcrafted leather wallets. Um they just get you. There's I don't it's I suppose it's a few things. There's there's quite a few tangible things. It's the way that they feel. It's the the squeak that you get from the leather. It's I mean I'm gonna say it it's the smell. This has been a, this has been in my skyrocket now for about a month, and it's it's just got that beautiful, absolutely stunning smell. And I mean, let, let's face it, okay? Let's face it. When whenever you get something leather, you always give it, un, unless somebody passes you their wallet. I mean, I wouldn't want you to take this and sniff it yourself. But whenever somebody gives you something that's leather, you have to. You have to smell it. It smells gorgeous, um, and after after you know <laughs> after a month's worth of wear, it started to break in. It started to. I, I mean, I call it the creak. Just that you know, you can hear it moving, and it is really, really, really nice. The level of detail that's put into this, again, possibly showing some of my lack of knowledge of leather working, but the detail around the edges, the stitching, the fact that. You know, rather than having the softy sign on the back, which you, which you can get them with those on there, a massive shout out and a nod uh, to Wicket and Craig Leathers, because I mean that's that's what it's that's what it's made from, and it's it is a absolutely stunning wallet, um, and I definitely think if you're in the market for a minimalist style wallet. Maybe one with, especially with where you've got the additional um, pocketing in the, in that centre part, so that you can compartmentalise maybe some cash from your cards. You, re you really should check out Softy Leather Goods. Um, Russ from Softy Leather Goods is a really nice guy, um, and yes, I definitely highly recommend that you check them out. I suppose the other part about this as well is it's something that you know. You think about around the around the fringes of things that are made as well, and just just knowing the fact that the guy from there, as I mentioned, who's a really nice guy, Russ, he's made this. This is one hundred percent hand sewn, hand cut, hand stitched. I know that he's made it, and that it was made with all of the love and attention that he puts into these wallets and the other goods as well. If you check his website, there's, there, there, there are other things other than wallets uh, that are that are handcrafted on there. Um, and there's, 
I'm trying to think of the word, but I, I, the, the best word that I can think about really is accountability, but which sometimes has, a, has kind of a, a bad context. But he's accountable for this wallet and everything that's put into this. And it, it shows a confidence in it. I suppose uh, uh, confidence and accountability, maybe they're the right words that I'm thinking of. I really should probably start scripting this rather than it just turning into to me waffling towards the end. But I think that puts it across that I know who's made this. There are some other amazing wallet companies where they're hand stitched and you know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a large team of people, but I know where this has come from. I, I know the blood, sweat and tears, hopefully not too much blood um, that's, been, that's been put into this and I think that's another part of that whole just just leather goods, handmade leather goods that just adds to the character of them and, and really more around the backstory of the character to them as well. Probably gushed a little bit too much about that towards the end but hopefully I get, I just, I get excited. Bags, wallets, watches. I get excited by that sort of stuff, and hopefully, it comes across as as genuine because it, it, it definitely is genuine. Um, but yeah, highly recommend. Check out Softy Leather Goods. I'll leave the links in the description below so that you can check out um, and their social media links. I'll also leave some of my social media links below as well. Hopefully, it should be soon. I've got another couple of things that I need to 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 get out, but hopefully soon I'll bring you a piece on all of my favorite um, leather-ish, leather-ish card holders, there's a few in there that aren't leather, um, and we'll, we'll be able to see them all together and kind of where I, I gain all that kind of excitement from, from these style wallets. Um, usual YouTube thing, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, that would be absolutely amazing, it helps to show that you appreciate my content um, and and for me to see what you'd like to see more of. But for now, stay safe, stay more under, and stay EDC.